Okay, this is a video on Venn diagrams from uh, paper two um, problem from a couple years back. Now, this problem, these Venn diagram problems, they usually, you know, there's a Venn diagram and then you have to use probability um, in most cases. So that we're going to do some probability on this as well. It says a group of 50 students completed a questionnaire for a mathematical studies project. The data was collected. 18 students own a digital camera, 25 own an iPod, 26 own a cell phone. Okay, great. We have three things. One student owns all three, five students own a digital camera and an iPod, two students own a cell phone and an iPod but not a digital camera, and three students own a cell phone and a digital camera but not an iPod. All right, so it says represent this in uh, on a Venn diagram. Okay, so we're going to uh, do that first. Now, I have to warn you here, I'm writing in orange for this video because um, the San Francisco Giants, my favorite team of all time, is in the playoffs right now. And they are down to the Cincinnati Reds, 2-0. It's not looking good. So I'm trying to throw them some love here from Dubai. Anyway, okay. So, um, you know, it's your universal space. We're going to have three intersecting circles. Now, you'll notice that this is worth uh, four points. Now, the IB grading scale for this is very generous. Okay, if you just do this, okay, with like D, um, I <laughs> and C and not don't even put anything in it. You get one out of the four points. Okay, now the best thing you gotta do uh, when you do Venn diagrams is you gotta start in the middle. So I always tell my students, you know that Elephant Mayo uh, song, uh, "Sexy and I Know It." You know you gotta work out. So you always have to work out here. So I'm, I'm gonna start right in the middle, and it says one student owns all three items. So I'm just gonna put a one there. Okay. Now uh, it says five students own a digital camera and an iPod. So digital camera and an iPod is gonna be five right there okay and then it says two students own a cell phone and an iPod but not a digital camera so cell phone and iPod that's going to be two right there okay and then the last one three students own a cell phone and a digital camera well that's going to be a three right there okay now here comes the the well it's not tricky really but um, you do have to do a little subtraction so it says right here it says 18 students own a digital camera well you can't just put 18 there because all these people right here own a digital camera, and that's, you know, 3 plus 5 is uh, uh, 8 plus 1 is 9, so you're just going to do 18 minus 9. So there's only 9 who own a digital camera um, all by itself. For an iPod, it's 15, so it's going to be, let's see, 5 plus 1 is 6, 8, so 15 minus 8 is 7, so that's going to be 7 right there. And then this one, let's see, 4, 6, and there's 26. So this is going to be 20. Now, you also have to figure out, um, if you add all these up, they should add up to 50. Um, or if they don't add up to 50, there's going to be some that don't own any of these that are going to be out here. So let's see, 14, 21, plus 4 is 25, is uh, 27, 47. Okay, so, well, 50 minus 47 is 3. So three kids don't own any of this. Oh, too bad. Wow, wow. Okay. All right, so calculate... Oh, see, we already predicted the question here. Calculate the number of students who own none of the items above. So again, I just did, you know, the total number of students, 50 minus 47, and that's going to be equal to 3. And notice that I put that on my Venn diagram. Now, if a student is chosen at random, write down the probability that the student owns a digital camera only. Well, digital camera only is 9. Okay, now there's 50 students. I'm going to have to do it down here because I'm running out of space. Um, so it's just, you know, 9 out of 50. Now, you can leave it. That's simple probability. Don't worry about putting it in a decimal. Leave it like that. It's fine. All right. Um, so let's go to part D. Uh, now, the pro we got some independent probability here. It says, if two students are chosen at random, calculate the probability that they, they both own a cell phone only. Okay, well, that's, okay, cell phone only. So that's 20 out of 50. So the first kid's 20 out of 50. Now, here's the, there, here's the trick. Okay, when you do independent probability, you multiply. Now, you already picked one of the kids out, so how many kids are left? Well, there's 49 kids left. Okay, and then how many kids, assuming that you picked a kid that owns um, the cell phone only, how many on the first try, how many are left here? You, well, you have to subtract one, so it's 19. Okay, so if you're going to bust that out, you... Um, you know, you just break out a calculator, multiply across, you do 20 times 19, which is 380. Okay, and then 50 times 49, which is 2,000, 
450. Okay, now you can just leave it like that. You don't have to simplify it at all. Now, I mean, you can see that these zeros, if you want in the l lowest common fraction here, or, um, lowest uh, reduced fraction, it's going to be that. But you don't even have to do that. You can just leave it like that. All right, and then the last one, let's see, E. If a student owns an iPod, write down the probability that the student also owns a digital camera. Okay, this is called, um, this is conditional probability. Now, conditional probability, they tell you if the kid owns an, iP uh, an iPod. So what they're talking about with an iPod is they're talking about this right here. They're saying, okay, we only want to talk about those kids. Okay, and so write down the probability that the student also owns a digital camera. Okay, well, digital camera is going to be this one, 5 plus 1. Um, so that's 6. Now, how many total are there? Okay, well, so we have 6 of them. Now, let's just add these up. 6, 8, 15. So there's 15 uh, total students. And um, I know that's right because it's right here. <laughs> I could have just looked right there. But anyway, it's good to add it anyway. So 6 out of 15, and I would just leave it like that. So that's conditional probability. So if you look at this problem, um, you know, making the Venn diagram is, is the most important part. But, you know, you will get follow through if you, you know, if you mess some of this up, and you, but you still go on with the probability and do it correctly, you'll, you'll get follow through. So, so make sure you do all of this. This is a 12-point problem on a paper two test, which is 90 points. Um, so that's a pretty big deal. And this should be, you know, for most students, I would, I would say you'd get most of these points. So anyway, that's Venn diagrams um, and a little probability. I uh, hope that helped you out. Uh, take it easy. Go Giants!